So, ladies and gents, I'm alone. I'm all alone. The base looking pretty barren today. And that's because I've begun making the move. The move to the new base that I've told you that I'm going to work on very, very soon. Well, it is underway. And uh, all that's left here at the old base location is me. Just me. Just little old... Well, pretty, pretty big, actually. I'm pretty big when you think about it. But just me. Uh, me and my farm. Uh, I haven't yet moved the farm over to the new base. Uh, but this is it. This is goodbyes. Possibly forever. Probably forever. I can't think of a reason we'd want to come back to this dangerous old place. Um, but yes, welcome back. Welcome back to our Mega Modern Survival. We are about to head on over to the new base. I'm going to show you where we are, what we're doing, what I've been working on. And I cannot wait. But before we do, if you do enjoy the video, then please go ahead, punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. Uh, during the move, because uh, I've been working long and hard on that. That is a big old dodo. Hold on a second. Oh, it's a necrotic dodo. Uh, I came across that, that other little dodo over there. A bunny dodo. Now, I have no... I don't think I've ever seen a bunny dodo in my... Ow! What in the world? What were you doing right there? Did you have... Like, were you waiting for me or something? Uh, anyways, these bunny dodos. I don't know what their story is. There's another one over here. But these little fellas have uh, decided to just start laying eggs all over my beach or something. I, I don't think we've got an Easter event activated or anything, but... Yeah, really, really bizarre. I don't really know what's going on there. Uh, but anyways, let's get out of here. Let's head on over to the new base, otherwise known as the new home sweet home. And I'm stunned, so I can't actually move right this second. Uh, immune effects. Okay, we've got a little buff on us, but we seem to be fine. And this is our new base. That's right. We're like up the top of this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but old ruin, I suppose. Pretty central on the map. But we now get to overlook everything. We are hopefully well out of harm's way. I don't really know. I, I have seen a few. We got attacked a few times while I was putting this all together. Uh, but no Celestial Indominus Rexes. No Celestial Rexes. No, uh, I mean, you know, Spirit Manticores. We had our fair share of things wanting to take us down. Uh, so we shouldn't have to worry about that up here. What we are going to have to worry about, though, uh, are these stinking spiders over here. Um, which is why I went and built this. Uh, this kind of like a wall. Uh, but even still, I've had a few spiders just randomly attack me. I don't know if they also spawn in this area or what. But um, get a load of this. Even though we've got some foundations placed around these parts. Oh, and there's a demonic hyenodon over here as well that we've got to worry about. So... That's somewhat concerning, um, but spiders and bats everywhere. This little room here, still full of spiders. I'm not going to go in there and show you because it's kind of dangerous, especially with this guy down here. Yeah, I might be able to kill, actually. I don't know what these guys' like special abilities are, but if I just drop like a ton of little poison blobs, can we take this thing down with ease? Got a few million health on it, so it's like not probably like... Uh, yeah, tell this dropping. Oh, yeah, we have poisoned the ever-living daylights out of it. But it just healed up. I guess it got a kill. Ah, uh, I guess, yeah, it must, have, it must have healed something and got a... Killed something and got a healing. Um, where, what level are you? Level 420, 9 kibble. I definitely do not have enough kibble to tame this thing. But we are... You know what? I'm not going to bother. He just keeps killing stuff and healing, and I don't need to worry about that. Let me show you what I've been working on over here, though. Got all our dinosaurs. Um, they're, they're all over the shop. Uh, big fella, Indominus Rex. He was, I basically used him to transport all the items over here. Uh, we've got our little egg farm over here. And then the rest of them over here as well. Basically, all of our teams are purely just for egg laying reasons. Um, we've got a new industrial forge, by the way. This thing's pretty sweet. It smells metal darn fast. So, yeah, we pretty much, it pretty much paid itself off already. Um, we've got our Primal Smithy with all our Primal Smithy stuff. We've got our Smithy with all our Smithy stuff. We've got our Upgrade Station, which is empty. Our Generator, which I'm hoping to soon replace with a Tech Generator. Um, the extra storage box at the back there. Fridge, cooker, um, hatchery. That's about it, really. Um, but I guess the big kind of if right this second is this. We actually have a good stash of eggs, um, I guess, arriving on scene right now. Uh, most importantly, the Alpha Elemental, Al well, basically all of them. <laughs> We also got eggs in here as well, um, but not as many. Apex eggs seem to be the, the shortfall right this second. But with all of these eggs, we are pretty much on the verge of being able to access this. Um, one omega egg, five fabled eggs per kibble. Oh, we're gonna need we're gonna need some more fabled eggs if that's the case. Oh my goodness! But that's it. Oh, these only need fabled and omega eggs. 
and then Celestia was obviously the same. Um, there was something though that's really expensive about these, and I can't remember what it was. I guess we're gonna need a farm up here as well. Feathers, we got feathers coming out of our butt right this second. Um, we, we can get more fabled kibbles and that sort of stuff too. Uh, and I think it was, I guess, special kibbles? No, yeah, special kibble. That's the one that requires like everything. Alpha, Apex, and Toxic. What am I missing? These ones? I thought there was a kibble that, oh, nah, yeah, these ones here require a few of them as well. I don't know. Uh, either ways, though, we are kind of on the verge of being able to get ourselves some Celestial Tames. In fact, I've got 12 Fabled Eggs in here. Uh, and Omega Eggs, we've got... Hold on. Keep closing it. Two. In here, we've got two and another four. Technically, I think we can actually get three Kibble. We're not going to be able to get a very strong Celestial or Demonic. But when it comes to Celestials and Demonics, securing one of them is really... Like, all that really matters straight away. If you can get one of them... It's pretty that like you can kind of fast track the rest of them. Um, and that's kind of what I'm thinking of trying to kind of put our attention towards right this second. I think it's the next big gap uh, between us kind of taking things to the next level and kind of staying where we are. Um, and, and, you know, especially because once we get one of these dinosaurs tamed up, we can take things like this down. Primal Allosaurus over here with 75 million health. Um, that's just a regular aloe down there. What's up here? Apex Magmasaur. That would actually be pretty sweet to tame up. Um, but yeah, whoa. That's a big old chunky ruck just flying around there. Oh my goodness. That is a fast pteranodon. Like, how would you ever catch that? <laughs> that thing is ridiculous. Oh, I'm going to tell you what happened over here as well. Uh, that's, I mean, I could maybe fight that but i don't know if i'm really eager to right this second um but i forgot to actually show you what i kind of want to do moving forward from here so as you can see i've got this platform this is more just like a i don't know i don't think we need a lot of room to actually place a lot of items um since we are you know on the upper end of the, the world limit i think we're going to be pretty safe i've seen some wyverns and stuff flying around that's kind of sucky but you know it's almost bound to come up here and if it does, it's going to kill us regardless. But what I'm thinking is we can pretty much keep all our crafting structures over one side of this area. Um, and then over the other side, I'm hoping to set up like a nice dedicated storage area. Um, or at least once we're kind of able to do that, that's kind of what I want to do. Um, but we haven't unlocked dedicated storage yet. To do that, we need to kill a dragon, like an alpha, beta or gamma dragon. But I can't quite do that yet either. The other thing we can actually do is go looking for, um, whoa, whoa, hello. Griffin's there, that's just an ice griffin, right? Um, we can also kill Broodmothers to get ourselves the tech replicator, and I'd love to get that unlocked. That would be absolutely fantastic. Now, we could obviously, you know, generally you need artifacts to make that happen. Well, we haven't collected any artifacts just yet, um, but what we do have access to in this map is just over here. That's not a rock drake, that's a rex. Uh, is it just over here? Just over here, perhaps. Pretty much where we died the other day and lost our light griffin. So, I do want to be a little careful over here. Also, just heard something down there. Down here, though. Have a look at this. We... Ooh, Celestial Argy. He wants 19 kibble. That is so expensive. Uh, but down here... Haha, <laughs> there it is. Broodmothers can spawn in the wild. We don't actually need to fight or summon a boss. We can just... You know, do it like that. So actually, do you drop anything special? No, nope, just sulfur and stuff. That's that's all right. Gonna avoid this guy. He's shown what he can do. That's the, that's the special attack that killed us, by the way. But you see how it, it didn't hit like super directly? Therefore, didn't really get many kills. Yeah, I got really unlucky when we got sniped by that thing. But anyways, the point is, I'm hoping we don't get kicked off of my friend here. Because what I wanted to... No! It kicks me! Oh, snap. That's not good. Okay. Uh, uh. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Okay. We can't have flyers down here. Fair enough. Fair enough. I should have known better. I should have known better. Okay. 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 Um. Uh. Dang it. <laughs> dang it. <laughs> I just wanted to get a, a, a quick and easy kill. Um. We do have some other options. But I'm going to have to get my griffin out of here. Uh. Come over here, friend. Come over here. Maybe get me out of... What are you doing up there? Oh, you actually, like, can't get... He actually can't get down here. Okay, that's that's interesting. Fair enough. 
Well, I'm going to have to pull myself out of here if that's the case. All right, let's try not to, you know, fall to our death. Yeah, okay. All right, I knew you were going to come and be a pest. Get out of here. All right, let's land it. I'm going to send my guy here and myself back to the new base. I'm going to return with my Indominus Rex. Yeah, I think that's, that's probably what we got to do here. And hopefully he can handle his own out there. And hopefully we don't get sniped by anything too crazy. Uh, what I do want to do though, real quick, real quick, real quick. I keep forgetting to do this. Um, no, I guess it does, does it not exist. Remote dino, this thing, the dino tracker. Aha, yes, I want to grab. Oh, I can't do it if I'm mounted on a dinosaur. We're going to get some of these dino trackers. That way, what I can do is teleport my dinosaurs to me remotely. Um, and we don't need to go and like, well, we don't have to teleport back to base just to get one and bring it back and come and go again and all the rest of it. So what I want to be able to do is basically, you see, this is the problem. Oh, man. All right. Necrotic Wyvern. Dude, really? Day one in the new base and there's a Necrotic Wyvern right there. This is why we need that light, Griffin. This is why we need a good flyer. Like, I, I don't even care about levels right this second. If I could get, like, a level one Celestial Argentavis just to deal with things like this, I'd take it. Um, I gotta lead this thing astray somehow. Got a good hit on him there, though. Yo, how much damage did I just deal to it? Hold on. I, I packed a punch just then. Is it because I... Oh, 61,000 damage? Nice. And there's big old dirty wyvern flapping about. Yeah, long story short, just got to get this guy away from the base. You know, what? I'll just let these guys fight it out. Dirty wyvern and uh, necrotic wyvern kind of be looking. Whoa. Yeah, that's what I don't need near our base. No, nah, dirty wyvern's coming for me. All right. <laughs> that's, that's less than ideal. No, you stay away from the base, please. Good news is, though, I'm kind of... We got plenty of room for us to like dive, dive bomb into some attacks. Don't go too low though. This is so, this is so chaotic and I love it. <laughs> oh, I feel like we're like in some Star Wars, like, I don't know, TIE fighter battles out here. All right, where's Necrotic Wyvern? I know he's on my tail. Got him. Oh, got him with a hit. He missed me with his little explosion. Where, there he is, there he is. All right. I will get the victory here. I will get the victory! Got him again. Two more hits and he's dead. What kibble did he actually need to tame up? Seven special kibble. I reckon I could do that. <gasps> Killed a legendary Pegasus. Speaking of legendary Pegasus, that could actually be a really worthwhile tame. But where did it go? Where's Necrotic Wire? Uh, there he is, there he is. One more hit, one more hit. I do not want to get hit by one of those attacks i got him i got him i got him but i'm cocooned <laughs> oh i played that perfectly so the thing with necrotics and a lot of these guys and their explosions is their attacks ground you to prevent you basically doing what i was just doing there dive bombing and kind of swooping down like that um i mean it's good for them but not so good for me thankfully though i managed to <laughs> I, I fell in the right place basically so that that's really really good now from all of that um, we didn't really get any crazy drops, but we got some element. Hey, element's always handy to have, so I'll take it. But now I can go and uh, teleport my griffin to me as I please. So that'll be fantastic. This guy here is going to get the same treatment just in case I need it. Also, my guy's got 83 levels up his sleeve. How does he have so many? I was like, what's going on here? I was increasing his health, but his health was already increased. So then it was like automatically filling... Anyways, that was really confusing. I don't really know what was going on there. Um, when did this guy get... S what did he kill recently? Because this is a ridiculous amount of of levels. Uh, like, he's, a, he's pretty much maxed out. Unless I just pumped potions into him and I forgot about it or something. But my guy here is, like, kicking butt. Four million health. That's going to be enough. And then um, damage. But we do need to be careful. Yeah, that's it. He's maxed out. 230 levels into damage. 59 into health, 10 speed, one, one single one in stamina. All right, yeah, this guy's going to be ready for it. Let's get him into that broodmother trench. And let's go for a bit of a butt whooping. 
All right. So hopefully we don't get dismounted here. Or, you know, just receive any other troubles. But we seem to be okay. Yeah, full damage is what it is. All right, let's go, mate. <laughs> you, you never stood a chance, mate. You never stood a chance. And we've got ourselves the tech replicator unlocked. Nice, nice, nice. And then just over here, we've got another one. We can basically just come here and farm element, basically. So that's going to be pretty non fantastic, if you ask me. And I don't think there's much these guys can really do to stop us either. So there goes another one. And while we are here and getting picked up by a dead brood mother, let's get on over to the beta and take him down in four hits as well. There we go. And we've unlocked all of the beta stuff. Now, the unfortunate news right this second is uh, no alpha brood mother out here just yet. So we can't quite do the alpha just yet. And the other unfortunate news is we, uh, we well, I don't think there's a spot like this for any of the other bosses on the map. While I am here, though, I'm going to go grab some green gems because I do not have any green gems back in peace. And, uh, you know, the time's going to come where I'm probably going to need them. And I want to sort that out now. That's for elemental ore. I don't need elemental ore, so we're just going to forget about that. But there are some blue gems up here. There's also this thing. Glaringly obvious, uh, I don't know, portal, I guess you call it. Um, you know what? Let me just dismount. Hopefully no brood mother spot in behind us. This thing here. As mysterious as it appears. I do know what it does because I played on this map a previous uh, playthrough. Um, oh, we can get a glider suit now that we've got this stuff. Nice. Nice. Yes. Fantastic. Uh, this leads us... Should I go through it? Oh, let me just demonstrate here where this goes to. I actually can't remember, but I remember it being pretty cool. Ah, that's right. It comes to this weird, like, teleporter dimension. Um... Here we go. I'm in chains, but a prisoner I'm not. Gateways unsealed before me when I'm the right. When I'm the right. Carried by what I am bound to used by it too. If you carry me, you'll find the right way. Seek and find me. Then your destination becomes the path. Yeah. So basically, these teleporters, they lead to various different places around the map. I guess I gotta be holding something to do a certain something, and I don't know what that something is, uh, but I'm locked in here and I can't escape. So back through the teleporter we go. I wasn't sure where the teleporter would actually uh, take us to, but hey, 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 we got another brood mother to take down while we're out here. So I may as well miss my jump. Fantastic. All right, I, yeah, I was gonna say, I gotta keep my crossbow on my hotbar because we, uh, we seem to need it more often than not. Uh, let's run back around here. Unfortunately, no red gems, but, uh, you know what? Like, the gr the green and blue is probably where it's at mostly. I don't need a, a rock drake saddle or anything like that. Wait, where is this broodmother? I'm, like, running around in circles trying to find the darn thing. He's stuck in the wall. There he is. Oh, it's a little baby one! <laughs> Get wrecked. Thanks for the element, though. Okay, there's a lot of little dude. I can kill that, right? Oh, but what if it hits me with another bomb? Is this worth the risk? I think it is. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Why am I doing this? I'm avenging the death of my fallen friend. That's why I'm doing this. That's why I'm doing it. Get wrecked. Get out of my face. Let's... Yeah, I can't fight that. That's an origin RG. All right, yep, that's where my RG fighting days end for today. Let's go back to home sweet home. Dude, we took that thing down with ease. Didn't stand a chance. Just the way I like it. Well, I guess now that we can do it, we may as well go ahead and get ourselves. Oh. Wait, I can't. Wait, 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 what? Re tech replicator. Oh, I gotta learn that S plus one, I think, to craft it in here, right? Aha, there it is. And we got everything we need for that. Boom, baby! Tech replicator requires. Uh, I guess I didn't really think of <laughs> any way to craft this. So I'll just place it here for the time being. And then I might need to rethink my dedicated storage solution. Or I just need to... Yeah, I didn't think about this. I forgot how big this thing is too. Unless there's a... There's definitely no like... Tech replicator from the prime. There's no like primal replicator or anything like that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. Well, now that we got this, I'm not going to do anything with it. It's just there for show and a waste of resources for the time being until we get what we need to craft out of it, which 
that's further down the line anyways um but there is something that it just occurred to me i was talking about potentially taming it not that long ago and if my memory serves me correctly it is <gasps> i mean that's not what i was talking about but i know th these guys are pretty good is he just died he just died oh you banana the elder Malin just died dang it basically these horses whether it's legendary pegasus elder Malin, um oh, i kind of i think there's a few more of them there's a few variants of them they deal a ridiculous amount of torpor when they kick an enemy and uh can be very very helpful for knocking dinosaurs out which well i mean we, we you're kind of entering that realm where we want to be able to knock out some pretty strong guys so i was thinking it could be very very helpful to go in that direction um Oh, I gotta be careful of this area. I forgot about that. Yeah, the only thing is, well, that that we killed the Pegasus over here. Oh, the Malon just died over there. There is just a regular Malon down there, but it doesn't have a lot of health. So that's really not gonna be too helpful. But I also remember there being a Grifficorn, a fabled Grifficorn out here somewhere. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. Also, also some some Alpha Indominus Rexes down here. We could get, we could make an army of those guys, but it's only a matter of time before we kind of like outgrow them. Also, I forgot about this guy. <gasps> Celestial Alley's about to die. Yo, get wrecked. Also, Primal Allosaurus and a Primal Tech Stego kind of going at it here. Hold on a second. He can get the kill, unless maybe he can't. Either way, that Celestial Allosaurus was like wreaking havoc out here. So I'm kind of, kind of glad that that thing's dead. Uh, also, we got the loot for it, so yippee. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Unfortunately, the bleed out damage doesn't seem to be affecting Primal Aloe. That's unfortunate. Um, yep, that guy didn't drop anything, unfortunately. So let's keep exploring. Is the fabled Grifficorn still out here? Is what I'm wondering right this second. Because if it is, I would like to tame it. But if it isn't... It's not the end of the world. We got some reapers out here, though. I'll tell you that much. <gasps> also that. Chaos giant queen bee. Okay, those guys are very destructive. Also, that thing is massive. I guess that's why it's called a giant. Um, those guys do, like, devastating damage. So we, we're going to make sure we stay well away from that thing. Yo! Asking you shall receive. There it is. Quite a bit of torpor. Oh! Oh, no, 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 I'm dead. We're dead, we're dead. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, you're joking. I did nothing wrong. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's, this is why I was happy that that celestial aloe was dead. Do you see why I was happy about it? Because that's what they can do. And I went to the wrong base. Whoops. Um that's what they do that's what they do so unfortunately well one died the other's still alive that 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 radius of that attack is absolutely insane i was nowhere near it and he just annihilated me thankfully i can get my stuff back but getting the stuff off my my dinosaur might be a little bit more difficult we got this ice mega raptor which is pretty sweet and it can fly really fast so i'm gonna be using that but do need to be a little careful. Looks like this is where I died. Where's the Allosaurus, though? Is it that one? It's that one. It has to be that one. Yeah. Dude, that thing is ridiculous. Um, all right. I might just be able to... I might just be able to... Oh, what's that? Is that just a... That's just an Alpha Raptor. Okay. I can do this. I'm not touching ground. Uh, we will get one shot out here. We'll die. A very quick death. Uh, that's not gonna work. I don't even know where my guy died, but I was hoping. Yeah, look, I can't get anywhere near this thing. Oh, Caustic Griffin. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, nice, nice, nice. I can pull the stuff from my Caustic Griffin's body, but that hurts so bad, man. There we go. All right, we got all that stuff back. Not that there was anything on it. Okay, cool. So that was all for nothing, anyways. <laughs> What a beast, man. What an absolute... I don't even know what it's fighting. It's just going absolutely ham over there, though. But this guy. <laughs> this is this is what excites me. 
I, I want this thing. Level 400, 1.8 X. Might not be ridiculously fast. In fact, that's a good thing because it means I might actually be able to stop it and catch it. Um, can I bowler it? I do want to be a little careful here because, you know, these things are pretty, pretty tough. The whole reason I want it after. Oh, I nearly died to it. He nearly just one shot me. Oh my goodness. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, I have been warned. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I respect it. Not going to let you get the kill on me though. All right. My poor guy here took an absolute beating just then. Um, I need, I should get armor. What I do need though is my tranks. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? I've got this rifle now. So what I could do is, um, rifle bullets? No. Bullets? Aha, these ones here. We could craft up some of these potentially. I don't know if I can afford them. Uh, I need more narcotics and I don't have any primal rifle bullets. That is a shame. This would be the easiest way for us to get this happening. I don't know how to get primal rifle bullets other than crafting them. I don't know if we can get some from drops or what, uh, but we need these. And to get them, we need advanced sniper bullets, which I also do not have, but I might be able to craft some over here. Huh. I guess I need a fabricator. I guess I need a fabricator. Or we just shoot this thing with arrows. We could do that as well. But it'll probably kill us. And that'll kind of suck. How expensive is it to... Hey, we got a bullet, <laughs> I guess. Okay, this kind of explains it. I think what I've been doing is this. I've been salvaging. We get the primal rifle bullets. And then I, I've been obviously salvaging those as well, like an absolute goofus. Uh, but that's what we shouldn't be doing, I suppose. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Hey, if I need a fabricator, I need a fabricator. Let's get a fabricator. Bam, bam. It's really hoping we wouldn't need one of these, but I guess we're just gonna, we're just gonna grab it. Really got nowhere to put the darn thing though. So let's get the hatchery out of the way because it's not really doing anything right this second. Place the fabricator in the corner like this and have a look. Can I get... I, can, I mean, I know I can afford them. We got so many resources. It's it's, it's not even like a, a challenge right this second. We got 60 of these bullets. I'm going to bring these bullets over here. We're going to turn these bullets into uh, rifle, primal rifle bullets. There we go. And then we're going to turn these into primal ones. In fact, we'll do the, we'll do the other 30 as well. Make that 31. And then, yeah, I've only got enough for five. Basically, I want to take this thing down from a distance without getting, like, going anywhere near this thing. So the further I can stay away from it, the better. Can I even get the kibble for this? I think we needed, like, eight or nine. Uh, and we need fabled eight. Oh, I'm missing some apex eggs. But I'm pretty sure I actually got a few left over in here. Or did I use them all? I used them all. Hmm. Okay, we can only get four kibble. Okay. So maybe we wait a little bit. It's not the end of the world. Either ways. Let's get ourselves 35 primal infused toxic trank bullets. These things do 45 times the torpor. Of a dart, apparently, which is pretty good. Um, but the other thing I wanted to check out, just to, like, fully maximize these as much as possible, uh, is this. Oh, I can't upgrade this. Oh, that's painful. But I can do this. Hold on. The augment station. This one. Rough one of these up. I think we can increase the damage, potentially. And I want to see how far we can do that. So I place that there. If I put my gun in here, and then I go damage reagent, craft up three, because I'm missing fiber, all right, and then augment, and then augment, oh yeah, oh yes, now we're talking, okay, 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 hold on, surely I can pull some fiber out of these things, maybe, savage, 
<laughs> that is so lazy, but I'll take it. When you're too lazy to go and collect fiber, that says, that says something. But we can still only get five of these. But what this allows me to do is increase the damage of this and hopefully through that, get more torpor out of each of these bullets. So 422. Let's see how this goes. My poor guy here is one shot from dead. So let's try really hard not to get this thing killed. Because I do love these Mega Raptors. They're really, really cool. Uh, but if we stay well away from it, we might be okay. And I can even lure this thing up towards base to give us a better chance, potentially. All right. Pretty slow. Is this even the thing that hit me? Because it's, it's, it's struggling to damage that Pteranodon down there. All right. Here we go. I'm just so nervous. About, I don't want to waste my shots. We'll say my Mega Raptor's wings keep getting in my way and obscuring my vision. And I don't like that. All right. Hold on. All right. There we go. We fired a shot. And I dealt a whopping 60,000 torpor. That's not enough. But if we do this 10 times, that would be 600,000 torpor. Ooh, headshot? Did that do much? I don't think so. Yeah, all right. So it's going to be about 60,000 per shot. So it's going to take us about 20 shots. Well, we got enough. That's, that's good news. That's the good news. Also, I could just... Just rapid fire these things, technically. I don't know if we miss out on much torpor, but we'll speed things up a little bit. So let's just do it. We've already got this hunt halfway down. It's a half a million. Bam. Bam. I think I hit the pteranodon just then. Whoops. I missed that shot altogether. I think I missed that one as well. All right, I gotta take a little bit more care with these shots because we're, we're wasting them. There we go. Are you going to follow me at all? Because I'd love for you to follow me up to... But we're not really, like all the way up to base, but somewhere a little safer. All right. Brontosaurus, get your head out the way, mate. Here it comes. Here it comes. No? Yeah? No? He's running away. All right. Good, 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 good. We can get somewhere a little safer. Right on this ledge. Not, on, not under that ledge. To be fair, though. It does look kind of safe right here, so why not? Let's go. Two more shots. This guy's going down. And we have our shot at a level 400. A very, very gargantuan. Hey, we'll grip on. Is this... Where's this Bronte charging away to, though? Yeah, okay, cool. Just doing... Oh, there's a wandering Ferox down there. No. Oh, that Grifficorn's as good as dead. <laughs> Oh, I don't like the chances. But if I fly all the way over here, the Ferox should just ignore us and we might be fine. Okay. 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 So, kibble. How much kibble can I get? Because that's the big if right now. I think I needed nine of them and I know that I can't get nine. In fact, I need fiber. All right. I guess, I guess I'm going to collect some fiber. Also, man, we like nearly ran out of all our bullets just then too. Well, I guess this is why we kept our teleporter back at home. Because <laughs> it means... Oh, I left my sickle. Didn't I? Uh, I could just pick him up by hand. I'm totally about to die. There's a necrotic dodo out here. Uh, dang it. I crafted a sickle and I didn't bring it with me. Like an absolute imbecile. I'm just going to pick some stuff by hand. So we don't need a lot of this stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to go get some fiber. And uh, hopefully we can get this thing tamed up successfully. Okay, so how are we doing on the kibble side of things? I need a lot of eggs. Wait, what? I can get... Wait, what? What am I missing? I swear when I tried to do this earlier, it gave me more than that, right? I need five now. Oh, I need nine more eggs. All right, all right. Well, I'm happy to wait. The Grifficorn's going to wait too. I'm not too concerned. He'll be fine. He will be happy to wait. The only <laughs> the only big issue right now is uh, the, the, the other big elephant in the room. That wandering loot boss. I need to somehow keep that away. You know what? I'm going to wait for the weather to be <laughs> a little clearer because I can't see a thing. And I guess it gives me more time to wait for eggs anyway. So right, let's wait for some sunshine. 
All right, we got no choice. I got to do this. I'm basically going to take out my Mega Raptor. Uh, I don't know. Do I just swoop down, attack the loot boss and like lure him away? Or do I bring in my Indominus Rex? And I feel like my Indominus Rex could take this thing down pretty darn quick. Um, however, over there, I know we've got that Allosaurus and that thing just sucks. Um, but surely I can just do this. And just run away, right? Or not. Nah. <laughs> I mean, we froze this guy. That's pretty cool. But he just completely ignored us. And if anything, is more an issue now than he was beforehand. If I land... I just don't know where it's safe and where isn't. This guy's aggressive. Yo! Okay. Yeah, we got his attention, all right. In fact, we got a few attentions. Uh... Why is a Dimorphodon coming for me? I mean, I can freeze you, right? <laughs> okay, Mega Raps would be pretty cool. Um, thankfully, nothing else seems too aggressive on us. All right, now I'm just gonna, just gonna leave it. Let's wait for those eggs and let's get this team. Just on a side note, uh, might need some lights around the base. It gets really dark at night time. And uh, my guys here are taking an absolute lifetime to lay me some eggs. So, uh, yeah, I tried to breed one. Got a male. Speed things up a little bit. Didn't work out. Anyways, um, I'll probably, uh, probably catch you guys in the morning. Yeah, that's right. Had to uh, wait overnight to get these eggs. But the good news is we're ready. We have enough to get everything that we need. The remaining two, which means seven. Actually, oh, I didn't even know. I didn't, I didn't even think. I didn't even think to check on the Grifficorn uh, to make sure that it's still asleep. But let's just hope that it is. Uh, it was going to suck if it isn't. Uh, we're going to need ourselves. Let's get a one. Let's get two of them just in case. Just in case. I don't know. Yeah, they, things can go wrong sometimes. And you just... Uh, you never want that to happen. Now, please tell me it's still asleep. It is. It's still asleep. Okay, good. Is it about to wake up or is it, you know, well and truly asleep? Not to mention, where is our other buddy old pal? The wandering loot boss. Because that guy's... Tro there he is. Okay, he's well and truly far away from us. So yeah, he's, he's surely over his grudge against us. Uh, we should be fine. I don't think there's anything else around here that's too aggressive looking. So I'm just going to hop down. I'm going to get straight in there. Get the team helpers in. Bam and bam. Get the nine kibble. It was nine kibble. It is nine kibble. And get ourselves well and truly away from this thing. As he gobbles down. On each and every piece of a lovely kibble. And we have ourselves a fabled Grifficorn. <laughs> also, let's get back to base like right this second because uh, I don't want to sit around and, uh, you know, let anything get in the way of this beautiful, majestic beast surviving. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> For those of you. Who have watched one of my series of Primal Fear. You know how big of a moment this is. I love the fabled Grifficorns. This guy is our big old beast. And I got to really be careful about flying too close to the ground. Because as we know, those celestial griffins, uh, they are kind of dangerous looking. But, I mean, we're going to go and attack something just to see what it can do, right? So let's dive bomb straight into a Brachiosaurus. 84,000. That's, that's already... Already more damage than our, like, you know, leveled up Caustic Griffin was. Uh, rest in peace to my fallen friend. 80, wait, hold on, 170,000 damage? No, 85,000. Also, yo, how you doing down there, mate? Oh, and we got this attack too. All right, hold on. <gasps> I could, wait, what? I just picked this thing up. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, I picked up a favored Brachiosaurus. <laughs> hold on a second, I wasn't trying to do that. Can I do that again? I was trying to use my sea attack, but I can pick this thing up. What what need is there to ever pick one of these up? That's insane. All right, I love it. I love it. All right, sea attack. What does my sea attack do again? I need 25,000 damage. Oh, I thought it was going to do more than that. There's also that attack, which is my X attack. I don't know. Uh, it didn't do a lot of damage. Neither does that one. What if I'm like dive bombing while I do it? No difference? Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, man, these guys here pack a punch, though. I've got to be more careful. There you go. Get wrecked. He drops some loot. 
I'm sure there's the bag. Yeah, I'm going to pick that up. Hold on. Wow, terrible shot though. Terrible shot, I said. Got it that time. But there we go. Grifficorn acquired. And now we got some leveling to do. We're going to get this thing nice and strong. He's got 650,000 health. We can take that well and truly up. But uh, yeah, this guy here. Going to be so darn helpful when it comes to taming other dinosaurs. I think. It's not the fastest guy in the world, but you know, it'll be handy for like knocking stuff out. I'm just stoked to have him along for the ride. But guys, I think this is as good a time as any to wrap this one up. It's been a long video. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead, push that thumbs up. But most importantly, have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.